I say we go ahead and just roll straight into this and get started. All right. So, welcome back, everybody, to Urban Jungle, the game of animal people, terrifying abominations brought to life by cults, and setting the building on fire. Uh, I'm your host, Griffin, and today we have our players who will go ahead and introduce themselves. Let's go ahead and start off with Theta. Who are you playing? I uh, don't say the original famous sloth magician slash clairvoyant slash fortune teller slash dedicant. My personality is mercurial. My motto is newly always face the curtain with a bow. I have the goals of putting end to the entity of Willow Springs and to stop Osborne. Good, good. Follow that up. Norman, who are you playing today? Hello. Yes, I am playing Claudia Greathouse, a.k.a. The Woman in Black, who is a rich fox mass vigilante slash monster hunter. My motto is justice tempered by mercy. And finally, uh, we have done something about the Zetas, but my goal is still to finally encounter and exterminate that entity of Willow Springs. And, of course, to stop my one of my arch nemeses. I guess just my nemeses, Osborne. Indeed. Uh, followed up, James, or EHH, you're playing James. Tell us. Uh, I'm James Green, a Deer Knight debunker. Uh, my, my motto is, there's got to be a logical explanation. My goals are to make a name for myself as a debunker, debunk a <clears throat> psychic, put an end to the entity of Willow Springs, and stop! Wonderful. All right, uh, you're up next. Or uh, and with Zechariah, man, I'm good at reading these things the wrong order. Take it away. Oh dear, we appear to have lost somebody. Uh, Cody, are you there? Oh shoot, my mic was muted. I apologize. Aha! Well, we found <laughs> you again. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, I am playing Zechariah Jericho. He is a bat telekinetic. Uh, his motto is, I won't let the people I love get hurt, never again. And uh, he completed one of his personal goals a couple of weeks ago to uh, discover the truth of what happened uh, with his brother's death. And he shares the party goals of uh, stopping both the entity of Willow Springs and Osborne. All right, and last but not least, we have Cody. Tell us, who are you bringing to the table? Hey, everybody. My name's Cody. I'm playing Edmund. He is a gecko loser. His uh, motto is, no matter how much you try to stop, let me hide your dirty secret. I'll find out and hope you got a good smile for the paper. My goals are to put an end to the entity of Willow Springs and stop. Wonderful. Uh, you are cutting out a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and keep proceeding anyway. So, uh, to go ahead and clarify, last time we stopped on the bad guys in the midst of their turn as the uh, terrifying Jonathan Noble, stepping out from the shadows, was about to eat Zechariah, but the woman in the black stepped in the way, took the blow to the shoulder, and caved in his skull. So we will be picking up right there with uh, Olga Noble around the corner, the cultist uh, looking incredibly worried and haggard, and a fire starting to spread throughout the building, uh, preventing, well, just about everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clarify a few uh, rules to explain things. Uh, so the cultists, uh, turns out, have panic soaks, which... They also need to be rallied out of, not just merely stop panicking. Uh, therefore, in this case, I'm going to declare all of them have all of their panic soaks tapped right now, uh, just to make things uh, work. Uh, so they're not panicked, but they don't have access to it. They're not happy. Uh, second, of course, uh, counterattacks. Uh, with most guns, that's short, so that does cover the way the battle's gone so far. It's about 10 meters in either direction, and we've been doing that okay. Um, or near if you have a shotgun. 
Uh, but any further than that, and uh, it will just be dodging. And I'm saying that aloud so in hopes that maybe I remember it. Uh, and last but not least on the subject of counterattacking, uh, Silence Pistols don't get counterattacks. Therefore, uh, the cultists have had along and the battle has been a little bit louder uh, aside from the indiscriminate gunfire the roaring flames and moonlight Asan uh sonata uh, uh with that I'll, I'll go ahead and uh let's go ahead and resume the combat uh if you do have something you Last. I thought we basically, after we defeated the, the boss, that we had routed the cultists. Uh, you have. Uh, the question I posed last time was, uh, you could go ahead and uh, route yourselves and extradite yourself from the scenario, but I think the uh, word on everyone's lips was, where's Dante? Well, I said I can't leave without Dante. Uh, exactly. Uh, therefore... Uh, I am going to go ahead and keep this simple. Uh, the cultists uh, are, in fact, uh, retreating. He's going to go into this room, and he's going to go ahead and close the door. Uh, and that ought to at least clarify what is happening with these fellows here. I'm going to go ahead and just hide their area again for funsies. Right. Now, that is going to recharge their panic soaks. So if we have to go in there, we have to hurt them again. That's a motivation for bad guys to run away. Right. They are they are cowering in this room. Uh, and you can, of course, hear them shouting to each other. It's like, no, get this. No, get this. No, get the bag. Uh, and oh, this boy. one, who's behind the fire, is going to realize that uh, this isn't good. And he is going to go ahead and just uh, boogie away. There's right. this one who fled before, so he's going to be basically out there. Uh, that does right. only, think, and I think we remember earlier we made another guy run down the hallway too. So yeah, he um, this will be the first round he's recovering. I think these two are probably going to collaborate on something. Uh, they may or may not actually return. Uh, so that does only leave Olgad Noble, who has just seen the woman in black cave in Jonathan Noble's skull, uh, and he's going to just scream out, <gasps> "Father!" And he's going to go ahead and shoot the woman in black. Yeah, good luck. Good luck on his part. Uh, he is fairly far away, uh, but he will go ahead and take aim. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for his stuff here. Here we go. I'm just double checking. He uh, does not quite have shooting, unfortunately, for him. Uh, however, he is probably still going to get uh, a couple dice to this. So, uh, you're going to only... Uh, anyway. I don't uh, know. And I'm just looking for my range reference real quick. Here we go. Uh, you are at, uh, between 10 to 30 meters. You can go ahead and add in the extra d12. Uh, I think you already did. Which I already did. I haven't even rolled my, uh, I mean, dude, just try to beat a 12. Uh, unfortunately, he can't. He is uh, no veteran. His aim does not avail him. Uh, shot. Got a really good shot. Uh, however, you duck just behind this tiny little fountain here, and you can hear the bullet ricochet off into one of the potted plants. Well, the ranged eye did most of the defeating, so he's firing. Yeah, he's firing wild. And, yeah, uh, yeah. It's like, hey, do you guys hear that? It sounds like a silenced pistol. Hey, who are you? <laughs> what have you done with Dante? Father, no. Uh, and that is going to go ahead and be the rise of good guys. Excuse uh, me, I gotta go beat the crap out of an old man again. <laughs> another one. Uh, and uh, Ed and James, the fire is going to continue growing. Just so you know. So, uh. Claudia, what will you do first? Uh, I need to get over there. Um, someone reduced my body. Thank you very much, stupid vampire guy. <laughs> Indeed, you're you're feeling a little woozy. Uh, not woozy enough to be an old man. <laughs> I can't be an old man. Dead. Like, my like too bad off. my power die are gone. I might have been able to do something about that. <laughs> Unfortunately, um... he is all the way across the foyer. 
Uh, I have a whopping three successes, uh, which I think is still only going to get me. Uh, well, for using the the regular rules, each success is like ten meters, so that'll actually so get you me can't there. actually rush all the way over there without I'm freaking Batman with... bleeding from my shoulder or whatever. <laughs> There's more of where that came from, I say. You're all assassins. That's what this is. And I'm going to grab him. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, I believe the silenced pistol does not counterattack at all, right? Uh, that is correct. His pistol is silenced. He will not counterattack. He will be resorting to dodging. Right. That's why I wanted to grab him. All right. Hopefully you're not too good at this. Well... Uh, he has a five and a four. Yeah, uh, I missed. Uh, he manages to dodge out of the way, and his shoulder just bumps heavily into the wall. It goes, no, get away from me. Wait, oh, you're with that Dante number. fellow, aren't you? Oh, I'm just going to do to you what I've done to him. Uh-oh. That's uh, my turn. Oh, he was technically guarding at some point. Not anymore, unfortunately. No, you aimed and shot me, jerk. Yeah, so he's definitely not. There we go. Yeah, take away his tokens, and uh, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the crew. Zechariah. I think, uh, well, Zech is not really feeling confident in his ability to fight right now, so uh, I think he's just going to move. He's just going to spend his time moving out out of the door and shout to the others. It's like, we need to go. <laughs> All right, you're just running out there. Go yeah, ahead. You can put yeah. yourself days. No questions asked. You move 30. Get out of yeah. here. Uh, James and Edmund, you're in the hallway with a body. What are you going to do? Run. <laughs> All right, James, go ahead and move wherever you wish. I assume you're just going to go days and not care. Stay okay and Edmund. Oof, this is hard. So we're There's a fire behind you and your friends are running. We're just leaving Dante? It's like Claudia's got this. There's a fire raging behind us. It's time to go. <laughs> Someone's got to get the car. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Claudio, you better be safe. You hear me? <laughs> I'm going to run. Sprint, jump, whatever I gotta do. All right. So, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and go daze. You're fine. You can just go ahead and keep running. Next turn, you're just out of here. No questions asked. Uh, so, that leaves us to one last person. Dante, who is not bleeding out to death on the floor, but rather was merely pretending all along. What do you do? I guess I get up and ten. Oh wow! Keep forgetting how short ten meters really is on the map. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. Since I have no right, so conception, get... I have no conception that running out into the hallway to help Claudia would be a thing. Since I've been faking dead this whole time. Right, and in fact, you did do the trick last turn to do so, so you would beat A, so you you waddle up, basically. That's fine. Uh, so, that leads us back to bad guys, and also fire. Uh, the fire is going to keep growing, amazingly enough, uh, and it's taking over a little bit of the bathroom over there. It's like, we. This is, this is what, like, two, three buildings we've set on fire now? Actually, you know what? You can see a little fire from the outside now. <laughs> it's it's a little worrisome. Uh, so, Olga Noble, you're face first with somebody, and you have a gun. What do you plan to do here? Uh, your other options honestly aren't any better. <laughs> uh, so, he's going to go ahead and aim and shoot at you. And as he does so, he goes, You're... You're that woman in black. You're the one who's been ruining everything. You're the one who had the fight with Barbara. Uh, and he goes ahead and tries to shoot you. And I forgot his D4 as well. Who the hell is Barbara? 
Yeah, he is super confusing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you do get to choose to dodge or counterattack, of course. Uh, I'm and... counterattacking. I'm punching you. Hell yeah. That's not a punch. Hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go yeah, ahead. What? Reconvene your dice. Figure out what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I don't know why I'm rolling like butt. Um. Oh gosh. Yeah. That's just been all day. Well, uh, it's time to tap my freaking personality. All right. Uh, and uh, I... I am determined to rescue Dante. And I'm gonna double check before I uh do another bad. Uh, oh, the crap. silence pistol, I believe, is two damage. Double check in. Yep, silent. No, science pistols. One damage. That is going to be three here, I believe. Yeah, because I'm rolling like crap. Can defeat eight cultists, but I can't fight an old man. An old man with a gun. An old man with a gun. Okay. All right. And my body's been trained. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> uh. Let's see, I'm not wearing the heavy outfits. Yeah, I lean on evasion a lot. You know, let, let, let's just not win today. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Let, let, let's just roll terribly on everything. All right. All right. So... Well, I soak none of it, and that's three points of damage. Well, I can't go down because I have to rescue Dante. So I'm mm -hmm. tapping disbelief soak, which I never tapped. Screw you guys. And I have to tap Panic Soak, so I'll go Panic. Oh, boy. Well, what a time to go Panicked. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and the we have the rest of our bad guys. Uh, bad guy stuff is happening outside of line of sight. Uh, and Dante, you can definitely hear the sound of people moving in the hallway, and with your power still active, uh, I believe it is, correct? I can see through the walls and everything, yeah. I'm no longer invisible, obviously. Yep, then you can definitely see these people who are uh, running around and also reloading as they move. Oh, I'm face palming now. I could have seen Claudia's fight through the walls. Uh, actually, yes, you do see it. <laughs> well, I mean, I could have when I was making my decisions and basing them off of my character. I could have seen okay. that. You have time to reconsider. Uh, in fact, Rise of Good Guys, uh, let's go ahead and ask uh, Edmund, James, and Zechariah. You're running, right? Yep. All right, I heard a yep from James. Edmund? Yes. You're out, Zechariah? Shoot. Um, does rallying people have a range? Uh, there is a penalty against it, yes. Yeah, this will be a yeah. D12 against. Yeah. yeah, normally you need fours or better, but because of the range, we'll also roll a D12, and if that rolls higher than four, you have to beat that target. Right, you have to yell louder than the fire and gunfire. If it helps you, Zach, I'm heading in that direction, and I'm a rallier. Uh, let's see here, what, 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 are my, what do my tactics dice look like? They're not that great. Uh, if you want to give it a try, you can do that, and you can also still run. Okay, uh, I will. I will attempt to rally Claudia out of her panic here. See if I can yell loud enough over the fire to have any success. Would that be will and whatever tactics dice? Yes, will and tactics. Okay. Well, fortunately, my will dice is pretty decent here, so. You got a good uh -huh. shot at it. Oh, uh, there we go. So, in fact, you have two successes on it. Uh, Claudia, you are no longer panicked. Oh, wow. That's actually two successes. Yeah. I think you can give me focus. Uh, I will give you focus. <laughs> yeah, I think in the, I think in Urban Jungle, that doesn't require a true leader, correct? Um, no, it doesn't. It's just leadership, which gives you a bonus die. All right. Good, good. Uh, and Zechariah, you are uh, running afterwards, correct? Yeah. All right, you're off the map. You're clear. Uh, you three are going to the car, and uh, we'll cover starting it up in a bit. Uh, so that does leave uh, the woman in black and Dante. Dante, you wanted to act first, I believe. Well, I was when I was going to rally. Now I'll wait for Claudia to go first. 
All right. So you're not going to tell me you're still alive. Look, I'm thinking, just go first, okay? You seem so motivated. Anyway, uh, so Claudia, there's I'm this going, old man. Uh, I'm going to guard, and I'm going to uh, attack, uh, because it's like, uh, you know, uh, where's Dante? Did you kill Dante? I'll kill you if you kill Dante. That man means everything to me. He's the first of your crew to go down, and he's not going to be the last when I'm done with you all. You've oh, taken I'm... everything you can from me. I'm filled with insensate rage. Our experiments will succeed. Um. Oh, well, if you confess that you killed Dante, I'm just going to kill him. All right. Uh, yeah, it's time. Uh, how many times will I teach you this lesson? Uh, hold on, I gotta figure my new dice. Someone drained my body. Thank you. That's okay. Uh, Take your time. He only has one option, so I'm gonna go ahead and just roll it down. Uh, oh, here. Th this could be very bad for him. It's not looking too good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Hold on, hold on, hold on. It gets funnier. You get to reroll all of them. There we go. No, I only get to reroll one one. So oh, I was thinking okay. if, I, if, if I re roll that one one and it didn't come off, of course I'm re rolling the D. I'm spoiled for choice of which one I want to re roll. You really are. Uh, that is still two successes over his nothing. Uh, unfortunately, his twos and threes do screen out your ones. Um, so, how much damage is that? Uh, it's a mere four points. Uh, a mere four points. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, He's not doing too hot on endurance. I'm gonna tell you that. And he's in his pajamas, so that's not helping him. Uh, when it comes to soak, he does have a number of choices. Uh, who can see and hear you? He's gonna go ahead and tap his distress soak. He's gonna cry out in pain the way an old man can, and go, "Ah, oh, help me! Help! I'm too weak." And that's gonna give all the stupid cultists focus uh yes it will and it matters to these two up here uh and does that do anything else well i mean technically he could instead of giving focus it rally away the uh no that's not how it works it gives them focus oh it does okay cool I'm just reading like the abridged notes I have written down for the soak right now. Oh, so well, there we I go. guess it, I, I well, but I don't think there's anything else to rally them out of. They're not panicked, so yeah, they are just exhausted right now because they've been running. That's all. But I, I believe it just gives them focus. But I could be mistaken. Right. Uh, still, one way or another, uh, he's been hurt and he's shouting out in pain. Uh, I believe that is your turn, and you are guarding now. Call that I, up, Dante. I sure am because I'm rolling like ass. What okay. are you going to do? Moving forward. <laughs> so I guess I just like come staggering from around the corner, like holding on to the, the frame. I look down the Hold hallway. The bullet wound. Yeah, they have big old blood stain spreading across my fancy outfit. And I look down the hallway and see Claudia fighting. Say, uh, uh Woman in black. You, we've got to get out of here. Dante, you're alive. You've got what? to survive. Woman in black. Here's what I've got no. you, woman in black. No, you're supposed to be dead. Also, that's why. Also, uh, that's my ooh. rallying cry. Uh, and she is a little far away. Uh... That is going to be a d12 against. Uh, no, it's more than 10 meters, so it's a d8. Uh... Oh, okay. Wait, no, yeah, no, 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 sorry, you're right, you're right, it's a d12, my bad, it's a d12. Yeah, so none this, of that worked. This is the range he's in, so... Awesome. Yep, so none of that worked, because you didn't beat a 6. Uh, hold on, actually. No, it's in there. You could beat... No, no, but yeah, my, anyway. I have leadership, so I was looking for my d12, but unfortunately, weirdly, I put it as my first die. Uh, okay, so you did in fact roll it. Good. 
All right, so we're clear. You've stepped out of the hallway. You've tried to rally uh, the woman black, and it goes to bad guys. Uh, these two in the hallway, uh, they are dazed, and they are focused. So they're going to get rid of their dazed. Uh, and then they're going to look at you down this hallway and go, You heard the boss. Finish the job. Uh, and they are going to aim and try to shoot at you. This is going to be the most unfortunate scene this entire game. I'll tell you right now. I have no soaks. I'm pretty sure I have one die to dodge with. You have range dice. Two All dice right, to so dodge with. So we're starting with the first one. Uh, beat a four with a dodge. Uh, what's the range size? Is it D8 or D12? D8, right? Is there a chart? Uh, yes. Yes, that is correct. Ah, there we go. Hey. There you go. Hits the wall. Second one gets to try. Uh, that's looking real good. Uh, uh, I guess all I have left is personality, so literally I've got nothing left in the in the bank. Yeah, that or you could just soak it. Literally, it would be better to dodge the hit than to add to one it. extra soak die, because all I have is one die to soak with. Mm -hmm. Boom. Fate's on my side. Hey. What's your personality? Mercurial. It seems like you're just going to be this doddering old man, but you change up the act immediately, and you dodge backwards, bending your body and avoid. No, no, the voice. first shot, like, hits to the wall right where near my hand is. And they're like, we've got to finish him off. And the next shot comes, the guy aims at me, and I'm like, fuck you, I'm not going to do what you're telling me. Well, <laughs> now what's Olgoff going to do? Uh, well, he is face to face with you, uh, and he doesn't like that, so he's going to actually try taking a step backwards here. Uh, so he starts stepping back down the hallway, closer to Dante, uh, and then he will try to shoot at you. At me or at Dante? Uh, at you, because you're the threat, and Dante is just kind of like, I'll get to you next. So he's not aiming this time, but he is uh, still rolling pretty okay. Really? I would have figured he's like, why aren't you dead? Since he left the room, I was dead. Yeah, but to be fair, you haven't been too threatening to him yet. Yeah, to be fair, mind that we won't to be fair his anymore. dad's a vampire, so... I can't die, not while there's still evil and injustice in this world. That's why you have to die! Get out of here! Uh, and he misses every shot, but he's not out of bullets yet. Uh, so, Rise of Good Guys. Pointedly, I dodged every shot. Pointedly, you did. Uh, I've... God damn it, Dante. Uh, I've got to rescue Dante. Uh, first, I'll move to Dante. Uh, that's only one success. That's only going to get me 10 meters. Um, crap, I hate you, old man. I hate you so much. Uh, I can't get to Dante in time, so but I can't let the old man shoot him. So, uh, Dante, get out of here! And I'm going to go ahead and um, punch Olgoff. All right, give him the good one, two, and he's still an old man. Let's see how good his dodging is still. Well, he's probably still got plenty of soaks, but. He's got an eight. Seriously? <laughs> the old man actually seems incredibly spry. He He's covered in gray hairs, but he's, uh, he's yes. still got some of that energy. Or maybe that just panic. You are all watching me roll. So I'm done. <laughs> oh dear. Well, Dante. Yeah, I'm probably sliding down along the walls. Get to here. Give me that. Going for his gun. Ooh, what does he roll against this? He can he can only dodge that because he can't counterattack. Good. Yeah, boy. it's just an attack. Yeah, I thought it was maybe an opposed. Yeah, oh, another. Well, he... 
Man, it's a tie. It's a tie. What could you don't you have possibly... any cover to hide behind because you can't hide behind me. This is very true. Uh, I don't think he has anything to claim. I think you actually win. You have his gun now. It is a silenced pistol. It does damage plus one. Uh, and he seems incredibly startled at this after having dodged another blow. He tries to hold up his gun and realizes he's disarmed. Uh, Dante, that was still the end of your turn, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I moved him and I did that. Rise of bad guys. All right, he has been disarmed. He looks between you, Dante. He looks between you, Claudia. He looks at his empty hand as he tries to click it in midair to no effect. Uh... And he's gonna run away. So yeah, bodies, I didn't grab him. He can totally run away. Yeah, I'm stopping him. Uh, he's actually going to go ahead and retreat deeper uh, towards his allies because that's the smart thing to do. Uh, and then he's going to run to go even further just so that he's out of your reach. Get them! Get them, you fools! I'm getting the shotgun. Uh, and these fools are going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to roll and see how far they can get. They have body speed and they... Oh, that's academics. I'm a... I'm dumb. Well, oh, oh well. One of them and the other one. All right, so one of them... So one of them's going three and one of them's going 20. Yeah, so they can actually go ahead and just sort of... Uh, Take the corner, then. Yeah, but the other uh, one didn't get any successes, so he just goes three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I moved him a little bit too far. There we go. He's Which means door. one of them can shoot at us. Yeah. Uh, this other one is going to go ahead and just uh, guard. He's not going to go ahead and overextend itself again. Uh, so, yeah. So, he's going to go ahead and try to shoot. Uh, and he's going to pick... Uh, what's more dangerous, the old man or the person in the mask? I mean, with to be the fair, brass knuckles? not to suicide myself here, but I am closer holding a gun. <laughs> That's a good point. You have he has a gun. He calls out, and he's going to shoot Dante. I just mean I make the I most tap, logical sense. I will tap bodyguard. Swap me with Dante. All right. All right. There. There we go. Dodge this. Or counterattack it. I think that you could oh, do that too. Uh, I'm counterattacking you. I also have a gun, you moron. Wait, what? She took the shot. Uh, that is still six. So let's see what happens. He's also out of ammo uh, after that. You're unfortunately a good shot. So let's see. I'm really good. Uh, I used all of my bullets, and one of them hit. Ha! None of my com none of my gun skill went down. We shoot each other! Yes. Uh, fortunately, this does mean he does get back his uh, his soak for that. His However, soak. yeah, his frenzy soak. Yeah. However, he's about to immediately use it. Uh, his damage to you is going to be plus one because pistol. Uh, how much is it to him? Oh, uh, I oh, pocket pistol is also at plus one, so I only hit him for two points. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see his soak. He is a tough enough dude to go ahead and shake it off as it hits him in the shoulder. Uh, I am not a tough enough dude. I will tap Panic Soak. Alright. I, I could rescue the president. So, bad guys have gone. The good guys are on the ascendancy. What will, uh, go, we, what will happen we, next? We should just get out of here. I mean, no argument for me. All right, we'll start running. You go first. Yeah, run, you cowards. Uh, body speed. Right. You could just as a stunt run and move thirty meters. Oh, right, right, right. right. So but guard. You run. could just get out of dodge. Uh, actually, I'll rally and then run. No, don't rally. Um, I'm running too, and I'm a coward. Oh, okay. I thought you were. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I just thought you, maybe you could use focus if I got your focus. Uh, no, nope, but if I you run, two I both run, declared running, uh, I run faster when I'm afraid. 
Oh, uh, if you both declare running, up, the scene will be over. I'll go yeah, ahead and tell you that. Yeah. We'll, we'll both run. Even yeah, though I can run faster, even though I can run faster than Dante, I'm gonna keep pace. I'm actually gonna recharge bodyguard run. So, right. You can hear the man behind you going, "Wait, shit! Where did I put my loose ammunition? Ah, it's not fitting into the revolver. Ah!" And he's panicking oh, right, behind you. Board. Also, but, but yes. Sometime, but the other guy's coming, and they got a shotgun. So at some point along the way, I'm also gonna ditch the gun. I want guns. All right, you just kind of throw it into his bush, and it'll be there later. That's fine. You throw it into that raging <laughs> fire. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna toss it at some point. Yep, um, you you toss it. Uh, and on your way out, uh, the three of you are back in the vehicle and have uh, already turned it on. You can see Dante and Claudia running down the yard to try to get to the vehicle. There they are. Let's go. <laughs> you guys start to drive? Can't you pick us up? My hey. question is... What's the question? Did we disable our carts? We uh, had, you we disabled disa the other ones, not we the disabled. one that you used. We disabled their cars. So, yeah. so they can't chase us. Okay, yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, I'm gonna go... Ah. Pick them up. Second, I'm just uh, copy-paste something. Ooh, that's important. There we go. All right. So uh, I'm not going to go ahead and ask you for a drive check because it's not contested against anybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, in this case, you will swoop in, go ahead and pick up Claudia and Dante and drive out. As, of course, somewhere off in the distance, you can hear the sound of sirens. So where are you all going? I would assume Claudia. Wait, who's driving? Oh. And then... No, uh, take... no, no, we, we need to go to Ed's garage. Uh, yeah, sorry, we need, we need to go to the Tricoga Speedy Garage. Okay, we'll go there. All right, you all end up at the Speedy Garage, which, of course, is to hide the vehicle. And uh, outside, you can just sort of randomly hear more sirens, but they just... Passed by the garage. Why would the garage have anything to do with this? Right, they spray paint the uh, car. So this is North right to the camp. <laughs> would you like to paint us to paint that tonight, ma'am? Ah, uh, I think I'm dying. So that's a no. Um, are any <laughs> of you guys, do any of you guys have any academics? I do. Ah. Uh, I have some. I have yeah. academic. Uh, I, I need to get this, like, uh, I need uh, to get my trench coat off so we can look at the wound that I suffered. <laughs> well, it seems like okay. you should have asked does anybody have first aid. Well, in, in game terms, it's academics. Do any of you actually have the gift of first aid? Wah. Well, I think absolutely nobody does. <laughs> Not you know, me. I believe in I believe in luck, and I believe it's a thing I don't have. If I was going to declare favorite use for academics, what would this be? Medicine. First aid. Medicine. Sure, I'll declare medicine my favorite use of academics. And there's a ten. It means so, if you do um... that, it means if you do that, you're not declaring rituals. Uh, you know what? Ignore that. I just realized I do have rituals already listed as first aid, favorite use. I mean, academic favorite use. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, you do still have two people assisting you. Someone's running the alcohol. Someone else is, like, cleaning some cloth. But I guess what they would determine is I have been rapidly exsanguinated. You're weak from blood uh, loss, is what you're saying? How many? Yeah, you have only one success there total, then, Dante, don't you? Well, it looks like we had three different people doing what their own I, separate say, books. Like a... Yeah, this yeah, is but... why I'm saying Dante is probably the lead and you guys are assisting, if that's correct. Yeah, like, yeah but like I should happened. clarify, this doesn't actually have any game meaning. It's just, I got bit by a vampire that's never <laughs> happened before, so I want to know what the hell that is. Exactly. So this well, is the can yeah, people yeah, puzzle I'm... out the mystery role. I mean, I'm bleeding from the chest, looking at your bleeding chest wound. So, okay. I think Zechariah got shot through the wing. So he's he's got a gaping hole in one of his wings now. 
And it's like, it's like, I'm not sure how I'm going to explain that to my parents. <laughs> you haven't seen your parents in years. <laughs> okay, uh, let, let, let me, I try so, to examine the, uh, so Zach, what do you get the next one? Hmm? What now? Uh, sorry, I was speaking in, uh, yeah. sorry, he got. Looking at the neck wound, uh, it looks like someone has sunk their teeth into them. Two very large teeth into it. And in fact, you can see that uh, around the wound, uh, it's not bleeding. It seems very clean, actually. It's like... It's... Hold on, I need to... Well, that's creepy. What species with the nobles again? Tigers. Okay. So I'll make sure it wasn't something stupid. I don't know, like bats. It's like I'm getting Dracula vibes. I. <laughs> What's a Dracula? Hey, Dracula was written in the 1800s. That's the name of yes, my but doctor. It would... <laughs> now, but now the modern reference is Nosferatu. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't be popular until the 1930s. That sounds a lot like my doctor's name. Hey, Doctor Zach, Dracula. Zach, Zach is an I was like, hey, hey, you don't know anything about Zach. He might be an avid reader. <laughs> He's really hip to this Lord gonna, of the Rings. I was going to do a sly joke for people to say, wait, you mean Carmilla? Today in this university course, uh, we'll have you reading uh, Dracula, and you'll be comparing them to communists. <laughs> no, I, I, I would have read Carmilla instead for an inside joke that I refuse to explain. <laughs> Uh, well, still, uh, your injury is mysterious, but uh, at least none of it is quite life-threatening yet. If I get plenty uh, of fluids and rest, okay. Yeah, I'm willing to treat, uh, since there doesn't seem to be like any extra rules attached to it, I imagine you can sleep this off like any other injury. I think it comes back, is it once per day or once per uh, episode? Uh, it does not specify. Uh, so I'm well, still going to say getting some rest is going to be good enough here. Okay, I was saying we only roll one success, so if you want to do one per episode, I can understand that. No, no, I'm not going to uh, pin anyone down on it right just, now. It's fine. Just to get a piece of work, some milk, or juice, rather. Some orange juice. <laughs> Well, I took us back to the garage in case we were followed, but we weren't, so that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I so want I to thank I... all, all of you for your help today. We struck a blow against evil. Literally! Thank you again. I couldn't have done it without the support of all of you. Well, we took out the mastermind, but... What time is it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's past midnight. In fact, I think this was like happening at like one a.m. to two a.m. Now, it's it's approaching dawn hours at this point. Yeah, but I don't think we downed a single cultist, which means they all got away, and they had a library uh, of of information there, which I think they'll be salvage. They'll be able to salvage most, if not all of it. Right, but they can destroy the uh, the downstairs. We cut the head off the snake, at least. Yeah, we also killed her. Well, yeah, you destroyed the axe of the snake. Well, we it's like we we took out Jonathan Noble and the Huntress, and that's a major blow against them. I'm not sure they if it's are. he still has his son. His son is a parent, and he still did grow things. Yeah, he's just the one I originally wanted to be. His elderly son. That's how that works. And it's like he does. Yeah, but he doesn't have. The power that his old man had, so he be might seen. be here to do us. Yeah, well, it's like I, it's like I would think if he had something, he would have tried to use it on us. But that's... yeah, all he has is a cadre of fanatically loyal cultists willing to kill in his name. That's it. True, but <laughs> it's like it's like we took care of the supernatural threat at least. Right now, all we have to worry about are six gun Tony frat boys and their insane rich guy. True. Well, it's a good thing we're in an allegory of Chicago, so we know how to deal with that. Mm-hmm. I hope they would go some sort of gang leader and be a bunch of henchmen on the streets. 
<laughs> if only you knew. I mean, assumedly, he's an NPC. He's still out there somewhere. Yeah, he's, he's out there somewhere. Oh dear, could I use your um, bath? Well, now that we haven't been followed, let's kick the car back to the or uh, back to the mansion. I need to. Clean right, up. you all can head back to the manor. I need to clean up. Have my clothes cleaned up so I can return to Timothy in the morning, so he is unaware of what may happen until he Also, you for- Yes, and also you forget I'm rich. Uh, you can use one of my baths. So I have go. Hot water in multiple rooms. Oh wow. It's time for fan service. Everybody gets to envision Dante the Sloth slowly rubbing soap all over his sloth Yeah, just watch body. this old 50-year-old magician slowly taking a bath. Thank this God. is what we all come here yeah, for. The old <laughs> man <laughs> sloth. Two categories of unappealing fan service. Hey, I'm not here to kink shame. <laughs> I'm just saying that I, Dante, am not interested in it. Yeah. Dante, uh, by the time you're done and by the time everyone has, like, recovered somewhat, uh, Don is cresting. Uh, and, of course, the butler will come in with the daily newspaper. Uh, and to no one's surprise, the strikes continue. Uh, nice. There's a nice set of articles up here. Uh, and I suppose it's probably worth at least going through them, because at least one of them has something very interesting. Yeah, we're not even front page. Yeah. Uh, so, strikes will continue as law enforcement takes charge. Workers around the city continue to strike at factories around the city uh, since the start of the week, blocking management and workers from entering until the demands are met. While the number of strikers continues to rise around the city, Commissioner Garfield Wallace remains unfazed. Quote, we have prepared for this possibility over the years and are doing things by the book. Assistance has already been offered to the workplaces affected by the strike. With law and order brought to the scene, normal life for the city should resume by the end of the week. For some, however, the slow response speed of the police has led local businessmen to hiring out private groups, such as the Flint Heart Detective Agency, who have plenty of experience in protection of property against such strikers. Other news organizations seem to be springing up uh, overnight as well in order to meet the demand, like Red Company, a newcomer to the field. We managed to get an interview with one of their managers, William McClure. A name that rings a bell to all of you from uh, previous encounters. This would be one of uh, the squad buddies from before. One of the ex-soldiers. William McKiller, who seemed confident in the eventful end of the strike and his team's ability to bring it to that end. What these commies can't realize is they don't own this country and they sure as hell aren't going to take it away from us. Common folk. Friends. My friends all fought and died for this great country, and we all deserve better a better order than this. McClure went on to say his company has been doing anti-gang work for a while now, and that the process is no different. We know everything they can throw at us, and know how to throw it back. We're ready for them to try to start something. <laughs> Strike-breaking growth industry. Exactly. <laughs> Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. You consider our home correspondence course strike breaking. Do you like to shoot guns? Do you want to get paid to shoot guns? <laughs> Come along. Uh, on page three, more articles about the strike, but this one's very different. Violent thugs in masks threaten police. Several incidents now have been reported of masked individuals clad in black assaulting police at factories in the pre-dawn hours before strikers arrive in mass for the day. This has resulted in a disorganized response by the police to prevent protesters from encircling the entrances to these factories and prolonging the strikes thus far. Though no police officer has been killed by these gangs yet, some report that their assailants brandished guns and threatened their lives. Most baffling, though, is that they've had the gall to leave behind cards with the printed face of an angry black cat in a red circles with the word General Strike on it, marking them as anarchists and communist sympathizers. 
We've run reports on similar vigilantes on the street, like the mysterious woman in black, and her possible communist ties after the assassination of esteemed industry leaders. Are the two connected? In this ongoing series, we'll explore just what exactly we've dug up so far. Yes, uh, I've arrived! <laughs> this is going in the scrapbook. The article closes with plain conjecture. All of it wrong. Uh, deep in local events is uh, another murder. Outrageous murder of university graduate. Police responded early in the morning to the discovery of a body in a biology department lab on campus. The victim, young Gregory Hamilton, was found with his upper torso and head missing, burned away entirely. Police report that they were only able to establish his identity by his wallet and testimony from his Zeta fraternity friends. Gregory was always a nice guy. Uh, we... We'd have never said otherwise. I can't imagine who'd want him let, like this, let alone how. Oh, uh, said close friend Harvey Petrov, who says that he and his other fraternity members were out, quote, having a good time last night, only to return to the news of the loss of their friend. Professor Kent Knight of the university reported nothing seemed to be stolen from the lab, ruling out the possibility of a robbery gone wrong. How did he know he was murdered? He might have spontaneously combusted. It has to be murder. No one would have killed him. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so stupid I surprise myself. But uh, following <laughs> this also is break-in at the esteemed noble estate. Uh, police responded last night to reports of gunfire and a fire coming from the estate of Olgat Noble, head minister of Chicago University. Olgat is good health is in good health, and police are now on the lookout for a masked woman in black, a bat with a masked helmet and a red gecko. If you have any information on these individuals, please inform the Trakoga PD. Oh, thank God they didn't see me. <laughs> and of course, a back page letters with the editor. Readers, questions to the editor. Dear editor, I can't help but notice how inconsistent your titles for your articles are. As a school teacher, I have to ask why. Uh, and oh, with the I news out of the way, <laughs> please continue. Uh, so, so was that was, was that something you noticed that to put in there? Yeah, it's it's just a big jab at myself because I'm so inconsistent. Are you? Damn it! See, now I was I was gonna go back and put all the letters together to see if you were giving us some sort of secret message, and that this was the they're not getting it part. And now you're like, oh, no, I'm just making a joke at myself. It's like, oh, okay, I'm not going to do that now. I love that he suggested that. Now I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, but not anymore. Now that would have been the time to do it. Dang. Oh, I missed it. Well, That we've had a 27-week-long background mystery that's been solved in newspaper headlines because the newspaper editor was actually on our side. And you're like, these idiots aren't seeing it. Let me put a letter to the editor for that hint. Uh, but still, uh, you all have um, the rest of the day and almost no sleep. Well, I've got to, uh, I've got to excuse myself. I have to go see, uh, get back to my house before Timothy wakes up. Sleep is sounding good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I've... Uh... I've lost a lot of blood and suffered grievous injuries, so yes. So this does sound like most of you, uh, aside from Dante, are interested in just staying in for the day. Uh, we'll call um, Mr. Dante a cab. Of course. I mean, I'll probably sleep later too, but I have to see Timothy off to school, which means I have to fake not being hurt and not being so retired. Until he goes to school, then I get home it, and I'll take a nap. I did if manage to fix were... up the hole in your jacket, sir. Yeah, if only you were skilled at uh, hiding your emotions. I'm skilled at acting. I'm not skilled at being inhuman or in whatever. Some might say actors are not you. Well, <laughs> I mean, everybody's not human. I don't know what the. Uh, what the word we use to replace human is in the sentence. I think we just use human. I've caught, you see, uh, it derives from two roots. First, man, meaning uh, 
people, and uh, also males, and hue meaning animals. So we are animal people. It all makes perfect sense. <laughs> uh, so the rest of you are going to go ahead and get some sleep so you aren't exhausted and get back some of your blood. Also a very good thing. Uh, and also spend some time cleaning up and considering what you're going to do in the future. Dante, however, is going back home and uh, you arrive uh, shortly after dawn. Uh, when you get there, the people you called in are all just sort of uh, idling about in your uh, living room and kitchen adjacent. Uh, and it looks like they're actually making some toast right now. Oh, hmm. Hello, Mr. Dante. You're back. Oh, let me go. Ooh. We're still here. I need that note. Hmm. Well, I know some of your milk's out of date. Is it? I suppose that makes sense. I haven't been buying the those or this for some time. Yeah, it's actually a little thin, but uh, still some bread. You want right. some? I'll, uh, I'll add that to the list of things to do. I'll probably walk over to the fridge, a little pen and paper, or sorry, pencil and paper, little yeah. magnet thing. Yeah. Do groceries. Only thing on list. <laughs> Milk, egg, just egg. Uh, so, uh, what are you planning to do? Uh, they'll look and say, Timothy doesn't seem to be up yet. Well, you know. The well, first thing I do is I have to make Timothy's breakfast. Then, while I'm doing that, I might as well make him lunch for the day so that I can unpack it in a small brown bag. I don't know, do uh, zip zip on bags aren't a thing yet. Uh, are, are plastic bags You, you can have brown paper bags. No, right, but I mean, or, I mean, what do you wrap what? a sandwich in in this day and age? Are you ready? Are you ready? Wax paper. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I'll just, you know, fold up sandwiches and wax paper. Or I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, I, I fold up wax paper around sandwiches. That's probably the uh, way I want to do this. Uh, and I'll have to ask, uh, with all the friends that you have here, are they? Are you telling them to stick around or get out? I'm certainly not telling them to get out, but making it apparent that that's the, job, the vibe I'm going with. We don't have to stick around, but you can't stay here. Oh, well, we got some things to do today. Oh, well, uh, you know where it calls, Mr. Dante. Yes, I very much appreciate everything that you do. Three tickets to all the next shows this night. Hey, score. Yes, scalp them if you want. All right, and so they're going to go ahead and boogie. You are now in your downtown loft as uh, Little Timothy is waking on up. You hear him sort of uh, clambering out of his bed and uh, entering into the room. And he's just sort of rubbing his eyes. Good ah, morning, Mr. Dante. Good morning, Timothy. Did you sleep well? Uh, I had this weird little dream. I don't think it's anything, though. Okay. It's like I was waking up and going to school and doing everything, but then I woke up, but it's actually real this time and not a dream, and... It is, that's what the dreams are. It, it is Friday, right? Is it Friday? No, it's Wednesday. <laughs> no, it's, uh, two days prior. Oh, wow, I dreamt of a lot of time. And he'll go ahead and disappear into the bathroom for a while, then come back out and uh, see the breakfast. It is the most important meal of the day. So what are you going to do today, Mr. Dante? I think I'm going to take a break. I am just going to... Oh, wait, I have a rehearsal later. Oh. I am going to take a small break after I drop you off at school. Uh, the rehearsal, uh, DM note, is going to be on Thursday. You don't have one for Wednesday. Oh, right. You said you said that Timothy said today was Friday, and I thought, today is Friday, despite having just gone over with you that today <laughs> is actually Wednesday. Look, Dante is tired. 
You must have had the same dream, Mr. Dante. Sometimes they run together because they're so busy. Wow. So yes, when I have to write drop you off at school, I think I am just going to rest until I see you again this afternoon. Okay. Well, you have fun today, Mr. Dante. Really? Uh, I think I got math today. Really? I thought they taught you all the subjects. Well, I mean, the teacher kind of does things one at a time. I think they get overwhelmed by a lot. I think they get overwhelmed by a lot of the other kids, really. Yeah, they are a lot. This is a city. Yeah, city. they think a lot about their kids. Yeah, city schools are vastly overcrowded in comparison to other schools. I just try to smile and stay out of her way. I think that, she's happy for it. That is very kind of you. You are a good kid. Oh.